Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're gonna be checking out a selection of pixel frames. Yeah, pixel frames and Pixel Dan. Those things seem to go hand in hand, but essentially what we've got here is a series of officially licensed video game shadow boxes that capture scenes from within some of your favorite video games and turn them into really cool display pieces that you can hang on the wall or put on the shelf within your home. So I gotta give a very special big shout out to the folks over at Pixel Frames and Big Bad Toy Store for sending these over so I can open some of them up and get a good look at them. And as you can see, we've got several of them here on the table, all from a bunch of very cool retro video games. Now, one thing that's really cool about these is the 3D effect that you can see within these shadow boxes, where they almost look layered the same way the graphics in a video game would be. And you can see how that's done. It shows you there on the back of the packaging, but we're gonna open some of these up and we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at them. And uh, let's go ahead and start with the one I've got here, the Revenge of Shinobi shadow box. Um, so all of these are nine inches by nine inches, perfectly square, and they have these beautiful black uh, wood frames here. I think it's wood, maybe it's a faux wood, I'm not sure. But I will say that they're nice and sturdy. They have a lot of weight to them. They're actually very hefty. Um, and you can see very sturdy there. Everything looks really nice on the inside. And you can see capturing a scene straight out of the Revenge from Shinobi video game from Sega. Um, you can see I love how the life bar is kind of uh, up in the front here uh, in front of everything else. Uh, and you can kind of see the layers there with like the characters, the way the ground is underneath them, and then like the building, the bamboo, and even that background printed on the back. It's very, very cool looking. It's a really neat effect. So if you flip these around to the backside, there's a couple things going on here that I wanna show you guys. Uh, first of all, I wanna pull this off. Every one of the pixel frames comes with a cool little metal plaque uh, that has the name of the game and the release date on there. And it is a kind of a stickable little metal frame piece. So you can put this on there if you want to. So we'll come back to that. Um, but I also wanna go ahead, I'm gonna open this one up just cause I want you guys to see what the inside looks like on these things. So we can bend all those little pieces back and look, it just kind of pulls out of there. So this is a glass frame. I don't know if I mentioned that. So hefty, nice glass frame, but you can see the way it's all layered here. So this is kind of like a foam core here. Um, and then you can see the way everything is layered. You got these little plastic rods that are kind of holding everything in place, but it's a really, really cool effect. Now, I definitely wouldn't recommend you like open these up and take a look at them, but I wanted to do it for the sake of this video, just so you can see it. You definitely don't want to damage them or anything like that. Um, it seems sturdy, but it could definitely be damaged, you know? So let's go ahead and put that back in there. I'll be very gentle about that. And we'll get these all bent and closed back in place. And you can see there is the hang tab there as well so that you can hang it on the wall. But also this is thick enough that it balances perfectly on a tabletop here. So this is, uh, this is that little optional plaque piece that I was telling you guys about. You can see uh, Revenge of Shinobi is etched on there. There's like a protective, looks like there's a protective plastic piece over the front of this here. Yep, there definitely is. So we can peel that back. And then we're gonna remove the sticky piece on the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to nicely position this. Let's see if I can get it in the middle here. But I'm gonna put this on the bottom, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Kind of press it in place and check that out. It's a little off center, isn't it? Little off center. Oh boy, but that is really stuck on there. So that's what I get for just kind of sticking that on uh, <laughs> in the video without measuring it. If you're gonna do that, I would definitely recommend measuring that and making sure uh, that you put that on nice and straight. You could put it on the bottom or at the top, but like I said, totally optional piece. You don't even have to use it at all. So I kind of want to show this real quick too. You guys probably noticed it, but I noticed I was getting like white like specks on my fingers just while I was holding this here. There's a Pixel Frames logo on the side and it's totally just flaking off in my hands. I don't know what the deal is with that, but look at that. It's just falling right off. Uh, it seems like it's fine. It's just like the black wood underneath. Um, so that might be something you want to take a look at. You might want to even just kind of wipe that right off if it's flaking um, or just be careful with it if you don't want it to get ruined because it seems like my fingers are just taking that right off. That's a bit strange. 
And we'll take a look at some of the other options here too, like the Street Fighter 2 pixel frame. Uh, this one's really cool. It's uh, featuring the bonus round with the characters breaking the car. So we've got Guile and Chun-Li in there. Uh, again, the effect is really cool on this one. Uh, the characters and the car in the front are the most forward. You can kind of see it's almost like they're hovering in front of the background. But again, it has a really cool 3D effect. Even the ocean is a separate background from the sky back there. You can see the boat and everything. Of course, the score up at the top um so very very cool looking it's like i can hear chun li yeah, ah, yeah, ah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sonic boom what is a man? Hey, we got these Castlevania Symphony of the Nights. Um, awesome pixel frames here as well. Symphony of the Night. So we've got uh, Richter Belmont over here facing off with Dracula. Uh, very cool looking battle scene here. Uh, again, like the fireballs and everything are sort of floating up there in the front. Um, you know, you got the energy bar over here. You got Dracula's energy. It looks very, very cool. And then one of the other options, of course, we have this awesome boss battle here with Alucard. Um, great looking pieces here, especially for Symphony of the Night fans. I just really love these. Very, very dark, very cool looking scenes from an awesome game. Ah, oh, we will stop you, Dr. Wiley. <laughs> so, so here we go. These are probably my favorites. Of course, one of my all-time favorite video game series is Mega Man. So we got two different Mega Man pieces here. Um, so we got, you know, the little, I keep forgetting to show you guys, but each of the game's um, pixel frames here does come with the cool little uh, placard that you can put on the front. Now, I did notice with the Mega Man ones, it's not for the specific game. It just says Mega Man 1987, and it says that for both of these ones here. Um, so it doesn't really mean it's just from the specific game. It's like the creation of the series itself uh, but you know you've got different options here i absolutely love this one here because mega man 2 is one of my all-time favorite video games so you got mega man blasting through bubble man stage with the lantern fish robot uh, again both of these are very cool in fact i love the way the city looks in the background there and the various layers over here leading up to dr wiley and the ship um, but even the uh the underwater one even though there's not a lot to look at in the background since it's just solid blue um you know you you got the spikes up at the top. You got the lantern fish and the little shrimp robot guy there. You got the energy bar. I think it all looks really, really cool. So uh, these are some of my absolute favorites from the bunch. But I think they're all really fun. I think this is a really fun idea for some cool decor around the house. Like I said, you can hang these up on your wall if you want to. You can put them on your bookshelf. You can position them next to your retro gaming systems. I really think these work out great for your game room or your home arcade, but you can also put them them in your studio or your den or wherever you want to in your house put them in your office man put them in your studio that's where i'm gonna put my mega man one for sure so really cool stuff definitely worth checking out if you are a fan of retro video games and you're looking for something cool and unique to decorate your pad once again, I want to give a very special thanks to the folks at Pixel Frames and Big Bad Toy Store for sending these over so I can open them up with you guys and get a close look at them. Make sure you guys follow the link in the video description to head on over to Big Bad Toy Store and check them out for yourself. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and until next time.